Welcome everyone to Footy Tales. Uh, today we have uh, our next guest is Dylan Fox from North East United. Uh, he has been great in his debut season in the ISL, and it was uh, he was one of those defenders who did not let anything pass by him. So, hello, Dylan. How are you? Hey guys, uh, thank you for having me. Thank you for having yeah. me. I'm very good. Yeah. Uh, so, Dylan, uh, uh, how how have been things been? After like post the season, have the teams yeah, so, seen you? Yeah, everything's been good. Um, I was actually just lucky enough to get back home in time before everything kind of went went bad in India with COVID and stuff. And um, yeah, I think I got back about a week or two before the Australia actually closed all flights from India. So I was actually quite lucky. Uh, a few other boys didn't get so lucky. James Donicky, for example, and Padalu. They had to stay yeah. and finish a few things off, so that it was hard. It was tough for them, you know. So I kind of felt bad for for those boys, but uh, gratefully I get got to come home and in time and see my family. So yeah, everything's been good. Just been training hard and putting my head down and, and enjoying my my time home. Yeah, that's it. So Dylan, uh, Northeast made a statement like uh, after qualifying for the playoffs. Like it was just the second time they qualified for the playoffs, you know. So, mm-hmm. how was the mood in the team, and what did you all do to turn it around in the second half? After like whatever happened in the first half of the season, the results didn't go your way. So, what did you all do to turn it around? Yeah, to be honest, there wasn't much change. It was it was a family like togetherness, you know, the, as a team. Um, I think when Deshaun came in, you know, he put away a few goals, and you know, our team spirit kind of lifted a little bit, getting it getting a few wins and we were a tough team to beat. So the team spirit in the camp, there's no egos in the team. Everyone was fighting for each other. Everyone was close. You know, as you can see, I watched just recently, I watched back that YouTube video, the, the, the road to the final series. So that was nice to look back and you can see all the video, how close all the boys are. And, and um, yeah, it's, it's quite sad to depart some of the boys. I made some good friendships in India, you know? So um, yeah, it was very good towards the end of the season and this is it the best season the North East has ever had. So I think by numbers in the top of the table, uh, the furthest have finished in the table. So it's, it's a great achievement from all of us. And um, and yeah, it's good. And like you said, Dylan, uh, it was the first season at ISL side made it to the playoffs under an Indian coach. So, you know, mm-hmm. uh, what's your take on that? How do you see it? Yeah, look, Khalid came in and he done a, done a great job with everyone. He made everyone feel feel really good as a team. Motivated everyone, a real motivator and strong character, and everyone you know run through a brick wall for it. So he, he he took the took the team on and we pushed through, and everyone was playing playing as a team. And uh, it's really good to see an Indian coach take a take a ISL team to the finals. And hopefully another uh, he can do it again next season, or you know another Indian coach can do the same thing. Yeah, that would be good. Like talking about Khalid Jamil, like you know, uh, he's known for his wonders with northeastern teams. I mean, uh, in the I League, he did a wonder with uh, you know with Ivol. He they against the all odds they won the league. Mm-hmm. So uh, and now with northeast, so how was it playing under him? And you know, how do you describe him as a person and as well as a technician? Yeah, look, he's a great person. He's a good coach and good communicator. You know, we we spoke every day and. He put his faith in me, um, which I'm grateful for. And I always give him everything on the pitch when I was playing for him and the club. I always give everything for the club. And, and yeah, Carly was a good communicator. He spoke to all the boys, got everyone nice and tight as a team. Um, and, yeah, I can't speak any highly of, of him. You know, and he put his trust in me. And I was I'm only 26 and he put his trust in me in the, in the semifinal to, to lead the back line. And so... Um, yeah, so it's pretty good playing under under. So, like Dylan, you know, uh, for the first half of the season, you all played under Jairad. Uh, a mm-hmm. sudden change in a sudden change at the sideline, a uh, uh, change in tactics. So, how did you all uh, like adapt to those uh, changes? Um, I think the team just it was just a bit more free flowing. You know, attack. You can see when the Sean came in, it was just one or two changes. There wasn't too many things that, that changed. To be honest with you, Ash, it was just um, things started to click. If you put it that way, before 
you know, we were stale for a couple of games there, but we were, we were missing out on those, those couple of games when we drew or we lost um, towards the back end when dry left. It wasn't that we were playing bad football. We were just missing that just final spark. And then Deshaun came in to give us that and we just kind of went on from there. So I don't think there was not much change at all. Uh, there wasn't too much change. Um, that's 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 my take on on it. So uh, didn't uh, like when the season started against the first match against Mumbai. We saw how robust you guys were on the back line. Like you did not allow such a great attacking team like Mumbai a goal. I mean you were mm-hmm. so rigid at the back. And mm-hmm. the, uh, this has been uh, throughout the season. So what's the what what was the philosophy behind it? Mm. Well, that's something that um, Gerard put in place early on. He wanted to be a hard team to be, uh, and we did that. Um, to be honest, we've carried we carried that throughout the season. You know that strong core. Um, we've got to give credit to the midfielders as well, Kasser and, and the Puyo. They, they they did a lot of dirty work in the middle. It helped me and Ben and, and the back line. So I feel like it's that that core middle group kind of defended like our lives depended on it. You know, and that was our philosophy, and that was what we've we stuck by. And then that free flowing football up top. Um, so yeah, it was it was that was something that we we um, we strive for and on conceding goals and putting everything on the line. And like I said, just got to give credit to to Casa and, and to Aquila because they screened a lot in front. They never they never let their man go, and that helps defenders a lot also. Uh, like uh, then you you know Dylan, uh, you talked about Apuya. Like just like Apuya, many like Northeast possessed a very young squad this season comparative to the previous seasons. It was a really young squad. You all guys were new, like guys like Chara, Nintoy, you know, such young guys. So how do you see them growing up uh, in terms of football? Like um, how do you see their future? And like they yeah. played such a crucial role in your run behind, you know, your, uh, in your run behind the team. So how do you see them? Yeah. Yeah, the future's bright for, for Indian football for the for the young players. You know, there's they've got a growing league as well, which is going to help. Um, I've seen over the years the I League, the ISL has been growing a lot, and that's only going to help their progression as well. And you see players breaking through, a lot of young Indian players, and they're talented. You know, so um, I was impressed by a lot of lot of young Indian footballers, and they're only going to get better, and the league's getting better as well. So, yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's good. So, uh, you know, Dylan, you have mostly played uh, in Australia football. You have mostly played football in Australia, and it was your first season overseas. So, how do, how would you sum up this season in India? Yeah, it's actually my second season um, overseas. I went to South Korea after Wellington. I um, actually signed there um, with a ankle injury, complete tear of my ankle ligament. Um, so I signed there. Um, in a boot, you know, so I went over there and obviously it was tough in South Korea because the whole time I was injured, I couldn't get back to my best um, because of the injury. Um, and then ended up coming back to the Mariners because of the injury to get to heal. Um, and um, yeah, my, I had to get my ankle right, come to the Mariners and play well uh, and then move to India. And, and to be honest, I was, was happy with the way India worked out, you know, it was a good season as a team and um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing India. I enjoyed the fans. A nice connection with the North East fans. Just wish we could have played in front of front of all of them, you know. So um, I did have a, made a good good friendships in the team. So, and I was impressed with the football as well. And, you know, it's it's a market that I'd like to continue in in the future. Um, so we'll just see what happens next season. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, like, uh, you know, this was the first time experience for you as well, like, like hotel quarantine, 14 day quarantine, all of that, and like bio bubble. So, how would you sum up your experience on that, uh, you know, on the bio bubble? Yeah, and not- to be honest with you, it's very, very tough. Um, it's a very tough life. Um, there's, there's not much you can do in the hotel. It was literally just you get a training, you come home, you eat lunch. You'd have a meeting, and that, and then you'd have your dinner, and you'd, and that would be it. It was strict. We couldn't. We were getting haircuts from some of the younger Indian boys. Nintoy was cutting my hair there. We couldn't get haircuts. Uh, we weren't allowed to go in the pool. There's a pool there. We can look at it. We couldn't go in it. Um, 
it was very tough, tough lifestyle, but that's, it's for the mentally tough to get through that, you know? So um, you just do deal with the consequences and you do what you have to do. And I think the teams that have dealt with it the best perform the best. And I feel like we, we, uh, um, yeah, it's fun to, to um, be locked in the room. Um, but it's, like I said, it would have been better if you played in front of the fans. Um, and hopefully, Hopefully, if I return to India next season, that it's not a not a bubble. Yeah, let's hope for the best. Yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, IFL is a growing league. If you compare IFL to the other leagues in Asia, the big uh, giants of Asian football, so it's taking a step forward to grow. And how was your experience playing in the India's top division, your first season, playing against the likes like uh, some of the great greats of Indian football? So, how do you see it? Mm. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, the Indian from afar. The last couple of years in Australia, looking at the Indian Super League, I've seen a few big names going there, and and then my agent spoke to me. Said the Indian Super League team is keen on you, and I thought well, it would be a good experience, and good challenge because seeing that it's growing, uh, there's a lot of good players there, and and there's a lot of Australians come over this this season and there's a lot of good talented foreigners and a lot of good young Indian players so I think it was a good spectacle last year from the fans uh, correct me if I'm wrong I'm sure there's a lot of good games and and yeah off all in all it was a great experience for me and I enjoyed it and um, yeah we'll see what the future holds whether I, whether I come back to India but I'd enjoyed my time there and it's a good it's a good market to be in and and uh, Growing league, so yeah, we'll see if, if uh, in the future what the future holds. Yeah, so uh, didn't uh, you know it was a great season with a lot of ups and downs for you all? So, what was your favorite moment in an in, in North East United if you show it? Making the final beat, uh, it was such a good feeling. Um, yeah, after that game, you could see the celebrations. Like I said, when I, we watched, I watched that YouTube video the other week again, right to the finals, and, and then at the end, when we're all celebrating, we made the finals. Um, as a team. So, yeah, that was definitely a moment. A few, few games during the season that obviously would be close, but you can't really pick that feeling of, you know, progressing through the top four after such a good season we had. Um, and that, that family like feeling, yeah. So that that would definitely be it. Yeah, you said the game after Kerala, right? I lost you for a while for that time. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the game after Kerala when we made the semi finals, um, that was when we qualified. Yeah. So after your first season in India, like you summed up your experience playing in India, you said. It was great playing in India. So, do you see yourself playing in India again anytime soon? Yeah. So, like I said, um, I enjoyed my experience there. It's such a good. I had a good connection with Northeast fans. A good I had a good experience in India, Northeast. Um, but yeah, we'll see what the future holds as much with uh, with India. I want to stay in the market um, over there. I see it growing. Um, it's a good place. A lot of Australian, a few Australian players have been there a couple of years, but uh, my my future is still undecided at the minute. Um, with all all is going on, and and if, uh, there's been a, I've had a bit of talks with a few different countries in Korea and and, and Thailand. So um, I kind of just weigh up all my options and and see what happens. Um, and um, yeah, that's that's just all I can for now. Yeah. So like uh. That's all like I had to ask you. Just didn't uh, any message for North East United FC fans? Yes, um, guys, thank you so much for all your support last season. I have a, such a nice connection with you all. Uh, I get so many messages on Instagram from you guys. It's also nice to read. Um, we had a great season together. Um, and yeah, I hope North East, you know, we bring this success back. Back again, uh, like last season. I hope North East is a club go on to win and win the one day. So, thank you all the fans for the support, and it's great talking to you guys.
yeah thank you dilan it was great talking to you thank you for your time thank you ash appreciate it thank you mate thanks mate